What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of NHL 21 Be a Pro with our skater Everett Scott. And in the previous episode we started the first round of the playoffs against the San Jose Sharks and it looks like we took a 3-1 series lead. I, uh, I do not remember uh, this series a whole lot because I've been doing pretty much only MLB content for like the past like month I think or somewhat close to a month. Um, hang on, I gotta adjust my mic a second. Bring it in a little bit closer, see if that felt like the mic was a little bit too far away from me. Um, now hopefully it doesn't sound like I'm blowing out your eardrums. Um, if it does, I am very sorry. But today we are going to hopefully defeat the San Jose Sharks and move on to the second round. Um, Obviously, if you follow the NHL in real life, you know now that the season in real life is done and the Tampa Bay Lightning have won the Stanley Cup back to back. Um, and looking at this playoff bracket, the only team on the West who have won is Winnipeg defeating Nashville in five. And then over in the East, Toronto beat the Flyers in five and Florida beat the Lightning in five. All right, very nice. So we are going to do the second and third period of this one. Um, but before we get started with this, I do have a question that I've been wanting to ask you guys. Um, after we finish this season, whether we win the Stanley Cup or not, I was wondering, would you guys want to see me stick with Everett Scott as a skater and just keep it going uh, for the rest of NHL 21's lifespan or whatever until NHL 22 comes out or do you guys want to see me kind of retire the skater um, Everett Scott and start a whole new career as a goalie because I'm really missing the goalie be a pro because uh, I went back and I watched some of my first few videos from NHL 20 where I did the Everett Scott goalie career and I just, I miss the goalie mode a lot. But obviously, if you guys would rather see me stick it out with the skater of Everett Scott, that is A-OK -okay with me too. Um, I am hoping to get more into this series. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been doing a lot of MLB recently. I would like to move back into this a little bit. Maybe do like an even, even split for NHL and MLB. But yeah, so if you guys... Um, would let me know if you'd be okay with me doing a goalie series or if you want to see me stick it out with this one and then do a goalie thing for the next game that is totally fine whatever you feel just let me know down in the comments below but without further ado guys we are going to jump into game five of round one against the San Jose Sharks all right guys so second period about to start here in LA we are up one nothing over the Sharks which is a very good start. I forgot Patrick Kane is literally on the San Jose Sharks in this uh, universe. Nice hit there on P. Kane. Sorry there, buddy. Got to do it. Got Carlson on me. Spin around. Rister. I had to get that shot off. I had that other Sharks player coming up on me. There's Patrick Kane. 87. That just looks awful. Just leveled him, though. Sorry, Patty Kane. Had to do it to you. All right, so only 30 seconds in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go, pal. Not who I wanted that pass to go to. I'm getting in front of the net. Going to screen Anderson here. Trying to. I'm getting stuck on him. Brent Burns. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys who really enjoy my NHL content hopefully you aren't too upset that I haven't really been focusing on it a whole lot um, Rister just wide of the net yeah hopefully you guys aren't too upset that I haven't been focusing on this series a whole lot um, if you do play this game you know that the be a pro mode get like got really boring really quickly this year kind of like it does every year just because there's not really anything new and exciting um, but I should probably go off. 
All right, so in the simulation, Jonathan Taves puts us up 2 nothing. Forgot he was on our team as well. But yeah, I'm sorry for you NHL fans who've been wanting to see some more NHL content on my channel. I will hopefully be able to start doing this more. Um, I'm going to try and force myself to get in the mood to play NHL. That's just been the problem. I haven't wanted to play this game. The last episode I recorded when we started the series against the Sharks was the last time I was actually interested in playing this game. And there we go. I should have been on that guy. That was my guy. Good thing Taves scored that goal, though. But, yeah, I just I haven't been interested in playing this game, mostly just because even though they did kind of revamp the the be a pro mode this year it just it doesn't feel different after you get a certain distance into the, the season or the career I guess slapper nice save by Anderson yeah it just starts to feel just like the same repetitive stuff and that's not what I want I mean MLB is kind of the same way but at least there's actual like value when you complete certain milestones and stuff with this game there's not really anything to achieve i guess i don't know if you've played nhl 21 or any of the previous nhl games you know what i mean they're just kind of boring after some time all right back to me little wrister nice blocker pad save All right, until they clear it out, I'm staying in. All right, there we go. All right, so Evgeny Malkin scores on the power play to tie things at two apiece here with 11.05 left to go in the second period. So let's see if we could get a quick goal to take the lead back here. Nice save by Yari there. Tristan Jari. Yari, Jari, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Nice play by Kopitar, former captain. Oh, nice toe drag. Got it past Freddie Anderson to give us a 3-2 lead. Very nice. Nice little toe drag there to get his fourth of the playoffs. All right, let's see if we can build on that. 10.42 left to go in the second period. Looking to get rid of our California opponents. There you go, 54. Oh, just wide of the net there. I had Freddie Anderson beat. Oh, there we go. Intercepted. Pass off the boards. Back around. Slapper. Nice save. Freddie Anderson was just covering that open zone. All right, better go off for a change, though. All right, so down to 6.18 left in the second period. Still holding on to our one-goal lead. Thanks, Sanjay Kopitar's beautiful toe drag. Nice hit against the boards there. Trying to get into an open lane. There you go. Drew Doughty. Oh, I lost it. Still have it, though. There you go. Back over. Nice. There we go. Oh, come on. I had that. There you go. Nice poke check. Nice poke check. There we go. Kopitar gets his second of the night. Gives us a 4-2 lead. I should have had that. Freddie Anderson left that side of the net wide open. But Kopitar eventually gets it to catch. A nice little simple tap in there. Makes it a 4-2 game here uh, late in the second period. All right, so I'm looking at the replay here of the goal I should have had. No, focus on my guy, please. Thank you. All right, so he's coming in. Look at this. So Freddie Anderson, he gets the puck, makes a nice, nice save, but... Has a little bit of bad rebound control. I'm coming in wide open. Should have just been a simple little, little lift and tuck or just a simple little tap in there. But by the time I make contact with the puck, just shoots it right into Anderson's pad there. Nice play there by Freddie Anderson. All right, so Kopitar's goal gave us a two-goal cushion. Final few minutes of the second here. Tried to dump it in there. Timo Meyer just stopped me from doing so. Jonathan Drewin, nice shot on Tristan Jari. Makes a beautiful save. 5.17 left to go. All right, so Kopitar looking for a hat trick. If I can get him that, that would be great. Tristan Jari, 24 saves on the night. Can't beat that. Pretty decent amount. 
Still a whole period left to play, though. So plenty more opportunities. Nice poke check. Ah, just went out, though, thankfully. All right, so Zach Hyman and Colton Pareko go to the box. So we are in four-on-four four time here. Oh, ah, god damn it. Well, it'll be a five-on-three, or four-on-three, excuse me, for the Sharks. I will go to the box for tripping Patrick Kane. All right, so the start of the third period now. Came out of the box, immediately going for a change. All right, so we're, we're coming back on about three and three and a half, three minutes into the third period. Still holding on to our two-goal lead, but we are on a five-on-four power play here. Coach is sending me back onto the ice. I don't need to listen to you, Coach. I know what I'm doing. So I will be taking the face-off here. LA's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Play we go. Nice face-off win. Over to Kopitar. Nice little wrister there, blocked though. There we go. Oh, nice save there on Anderson. Up close and personal. Poked it off uh, Eric Carlson, I believe. Had a quick little release on it, but Anderson was all over it. All right, I'm going to try and win it down to Dowdy there. There we go. Ovechkin, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And it worked according to plan. You always got to set Ovechkin up with those face-off snipes. You always got to set him up for him. When he's there, nine times out of ten, he's going to score, especially when you're on the power play. It's very weird seeing Ovechkin wearing number nine. But I understand why they didn't give it to him. Drew Doughty's been on this team way longer, so... All right, so we're up three goals now with 17-12 left to play in the third. It's definitely looking a lot better for the Kings, uh, keeping their playoff hopes alive. There we go. Patrick Kane lost that puck there. I feel like I'm moving super slow. I shouldn't be. Rister, nice pad save there by Anderson. All right, give me that puck. I can't believe I lost that puck. 92 overall. I shouldn't be losing that puck. Got to be careful with those poke checks. Don't want to go back to the penalty box. All right. Come on. My teammates are always getting board pinned for crying out loud. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Spin back around. Down to you. And Kopitar gets it done. There's the hat trick. Six to two. That's got to be it. There's no way. Sharks aren't, aren't going to be able to come back from that. His sixth of the playoffs. He passes me for the most goals in the playoffs. I had five. And I have yet to score in this one. So maybe I could tie it with him. But if I don't, that's all right. My main thing is, let's just win. All right. And, yeah, I kind of assumed Freddie Anderson was going to get pulled. I mean, at this point, it kind of is pointless, but they apparently have Tuka Rask as their backup. I feel like maybe I kind of would have wanted to start him over Freddie Anderson. No disrespect to Freddie Anderson. I'd just be like uh, Tuka Rask is a little bit more of a starting goaltender, especially in the playoff situation. And not sure... Uh, Kovalchuk, Ilya Kovalchuk scored to make it a three-goal game here, but we are on the power play once again. Scott wins that faceoff. Nice one-timer, but Tuka Rask is there to cover it up. All right, get the puck over. All right, nice poke check there. No one can get to it. Kyle Palmieri does, though. We do not want them in our zone during our own power play. It's always the last thing you want. Nice deflection there to get that pass broken up. All right, pass it up, 54. Trying to sneak around it. Nope, spin back around. Rister and close. I think Tuka Rask made a good save on it. I couldn't tell. There was a little bit of traffic in front. There we go. Nice poke check on Burnsy there. Long pass up to me. Here we go, here we go. Tuck it. No, I couldn't tuck it. I had nowhere to go with it. I had uh, Brent Burns and Eric Carlson, two of the best defensemen in the NHL, right on my ass. There was no way I was going to get around both of them. Maybe I could have got around Burnsy, but Carlson would have been right there to back him up. So 
Evgeny Dadunov scores to make it a four goal game yet again here. And we're not even at the halfway mark of this period yet. We're absolutely destroying the Sharks here in a do or die situation for the Sharks. Just have the better team, I guess. All right, come on boys. Better get in my zone here. Timo Meyer with a nice shot. Tristan Jari with a better save. I'm going up the ice, going up the ice. Pass, 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 here we go, here we go. Backhand, oh. How did I not take that puck off Burnsy there? I've just been stonewalled in this one. Not Kopitar though, I'm staying out. Nope, gonna go for a change now. Kopitar got poked. All right, so down to 6.18 left in the third. This one's pretty much done and dusted at this point. Four goals, no way they're coming back. But you never know, it ain't over till the final goal horn sounds. Shot that right into the back of the leg of Kopitar. I am sorry, buddy. Shake it off, you'll be all right. Stay on these guys here, stay on them. There we go, poke check, but Carlson picks it up. Nice save from Jari there. Nice poke, block that up. They'll have to reset though. Got out of the zone, that's always good. All right, Patrick Kane coming in. Nice block play there. Up the boards. And he got stick lifted at the at a bad time. I gotta go for a change. Oh wait, no, I can't because it's icing. I'll have to go back out anyway, I think. No, Anze Kopitar does have a hat trick. So at least I'm pretty sure he does. He should have. Yeah, so it's an icing, so I have to stay out there. Kopitar wins that. I'm going up the ice, and he turned back into our zone. That's what they always do. All right, here we go. Cross crease. There we go. Eight to three game. Got it over to Ovechkin. Got him his second of the night. His third of the postseason. You saw him wide open. I had two defenders coming up on me. Ovechkin was left wide open. You got to get that puck to Ovechkin every time. I mean, I could have been selfish and tried to score, but with Ovechkin wide open, you just got to. All right, so we were on four on four time, but that will not matter because we win eight to four. I believe that was the final score, eight to four victory. So Everett Scott, Tristan Yari, or Jari will defeat the San Jose Sharks in five and we'll move on to the second round. Not sure who they'll be taking on, I don't remember. But I wonder if we'll get to see Taves and Kaner shaking hands. There's Scott, Timo Meyer there. There's Patrick Kane. There's Tristan Jari and Tuka Rask. Came in to relieve Freddie Anderson. But we move on from round one to round two and we will go back to the main menu and see who our opponents in round two will be. All right, guys, so we are back here at the main menu. We are going to look and see here. So uh, we'll either be taking on the Oilers or the Wild. Currently, the Wild have a 3-2 series lead over the Oilers. And Winnipeg is waiting for either Dallas or Colorado. Dallas currently holding a 3-2 series lead. Both the Oilers and the Avalanche looking to force a game seven. Over in the east, the Rangers beat the Capitals in five. We already talked about Toronto and Florida. So Buffalo is hoping to force a game seven over Boston. So it'll be the Rangers and the Maple Leafs over in the east and either Florida and Boston or Florida and Buffalo. Um, I kind of hope we face Edmonton, but I wouldn't mind Minnesota. It's very rare when you see Minnesota in the playoffs in this game. One more. There we go. So stop simulation. And it's the Oilers who won game seven. They forced a game seven. All right. Let's see the rest of the playoff picture here. And then the Avalanche came back and forced a game seven and beat Dallas as well. So it'll be Winnipeg and Colorado, Edmonton and LA, the Rangers and the Maple Leafs, and the Buffalo Sabres came back and forced a game seven and won it, taking on the Florida Panthers. All right, so 
lots of comebacks here. Very nice. I wonder, did, did like, you, you got to think that at least one of those teams that forced a comeback were down 3-1 or 3-0 or something. But I don't know. Man, Buffalo. Going off a real-life Buffalo, absolutely no way. But who knows? This is a few years after the real-life Buffalo Sabres, so you never know. But yeah, also make sure to let me know if you want to see Everett Scott as a skater retire, per se, after this season, whether we win the cup or not, and then start it over as a goalie. And if you want me to stay with the Kings, and we can just say something like, oh, after three years with the Kings, he decided to hang up his skater skates and put on goalie skates, even though they wear the same skates. It but you get what I mean. If you want to do something like that, we can. Or if you just want me to stick it out with the skater, Everett Scott. And then next year we can do a goalie, Everett Scott. That is also fine. Just whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. But guys, that will wrap it up for this one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Helps my channel out a lot. Helps uh, put my video in the recommended uh, category, I believe when you like and comment on my videos it basically from my understanding of how youtube works if you like and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff uh, the more likely it is that my videos will be recommended to more and more people which is always nice because i love seeing new people join the channel um, but yeah so that'll wrap it up for this one and like i said if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe comment do all those things helps me out a ton and until next time guys take care Thank you.